So we're calling the meeting to order at 6.05. Um, we're welcoming Jillian Pierce, and we're welcoming Board of Abatement members Chris and Jan and Dorinda. Is that it? And then our select board member and Cheryl. Yeah. Are the listers on the Board of Abatement yes, they too? Are. Okay. And so is the town clerk. Okay, and the town clerk. We're welcoming so many people to this meeting. Okay, great. Um, but the first order of meeting is that we need to have an organizational meeting and we need to nominate a chair and there's action likely. Are there nominations? I yes, nom Sarah. I nominate Liz to be oh, chair. Oh, what? I second Liz. What? Are there any other nominations? Are there any other nominations? Okay. Hearing none, all those in favor of Liz as the chair say aye. 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 Is there a nomination for vice chair? I nominate Dorinda. Okay, is there a second? I'll second and Zara Dorinda's. Any other nominations? Okay, hearing none. All those in favor of Dorinda? Aye. 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 Yay. Congratulations, Aye. Dorinda. Aye. Yep. <laughs> if I keel over the next 10 minutes, you're sitting right here. Okay. So, uh, explanation of the abatement hearing process, swearing in applicants, witnesses, and listers. Okay. So, You'll have to forgive me, Jillian, because we don't do this very often. So I'm going to turn the page and I'm going to read from our meeting sequence. Do you have that too? You could just it's turn that page. Her, yeah. um, so uh, we opened the hearing and uh, we stated the name of the applicant, who is Jillian Pierce and Allison N. Pierce. But you're just here, right? Okay. Um, and so we're going to ask the applicant, who's you? Um, any other witnesses and the listers to take the following oath. So I'll read the oath and everyone just, I don't think you need to raise your right hand, but you just need to say, yes, I swear to this. Under the pains and penalties of perjury, do you solemnly swear or affirm that the evidence you give in the abatement hearing under consideration shall be the whole truth and nothing but the truth? Yes? Yes. Yes? <laughs> yes? Okay, great. Thank you. Um, so now we're going to ask um, you not questions about your situation, but just do you have any questions about how this hearing will proceed? I don't think so. Okay, good. So now we're going to request the Board of Abatement members to make any disclosures due to conflicts of interest. Um, they may decide to recuse themselves if appropriate. Are there any conflicts of interest? Nope. Nope. Okay. No. Nope. Okay, great. Ask the applicant to identify the statutory abatement category under which the abatement request is being made and then present his or her testimony and other evidence followed by the testimony of any other witness on behalf of the petitioner. So here is your application here. And does it say where what, what it's called? Yeah, she's checked the... Okay, so you've checked off taxes or charges upon real or personal property lost or destroyed during the tax year. Okay, so this is an opportunity now for you um, to... Um, present your testimony and evidence about why you are requesting an abatement of your taxes due to your real or personal property lost or destroyed during the tax year? Um, Just tell us what happened. Like, <laughs> okay. like how did your house get destroyed or did, yeah. what, did something happen? Yeah, this year on February 2nd, I got a phone call at 6.15 in the morning that my house was burning down oh. and all of my stuff was in there. And that's like, that was my... Yes. Can you give her a microphone? I can't understand a thing she's saying. Um, I can speak louder. Yeah, but also, louder. I think, do, do you have one? Yeah, uh, there's one in front of Zara. Yeah. That'd be great. Thank you very much. Okay. Make it a little closer. Yeah, those are oh, those are Orca? Okay, so just talk louder. Okay. Please. So on February 2nd of this year, my house burned down. Can you hear me? Her house burned down on February 2nd. She wasn't there, thankfully. Got it. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. And all of my stuff was in there, and now I don't have a home. She lost all of her belongings, and she no longer has a home. And, yeah. Okay. I'm just looking for an adjustment on my 
property okay. taxes. And because it's just the land. I'm not sure what my plan is yet. Okay. Okay. Um, so let's find out. It says here, I just want to read what you did. Our mobile home was completely destroyed by fire. Okay, I had, uh, um, I held no homeowner's insurance at the time of the loss. Okay, my father, Donald Pierce Jr., died in 2021 and was the prior owner of this property. The property tax arrears was close to 7000 at the time of his death. The property went into probate in July 2021. Oh, okay, and you assumed ownership in March 2023. Um... Okay, so this property has brought us some financial burdens. Arrears taxes that we satisfied in April. Okay, so you paid the taxes. Uh, yep, yeah, okay. Yeah, um, sure. And lawyer fees. <laughs> yep, okay. And his funeral. I think I okay. forgot to put that in there. Okay. Um, we would appreciate a reduction relief from taxes for the remaining 2023 tax year and upcoming 2024 tax year bill. Okay, so tax, can you refresh our memory on the... Um, but maybe we're not at that point. Yeah, never mind. Okay. Would you like to say anything more about your situation? No? Okay. All right. So then. Would you like to move all your documents into evidence officially? Oh. Uh, if we yeah. need to do that? Meaning all like the this. Your application and then documents that you have attached to it? Yes. Okay. And if I could send if I could send photos to someone too, that would be great. If if I could do that for evidence. Well, the probably the board's gonna they're probably gonna deliberate tonight. But I will take okay. your application, I'm gonna mark it as exhibit A, okay? And that that whole bundle that will pack up. Okay. Okay. <laughs> is, okay. It, is the trail is the house completely gone? Just just yep. a, a a lot now. Yep. A week later. Um, a friend of mine went in with his equipment and he helped me get rid of everything so it would just be gone and done with because mm. it was really hard to look at. Yep. Is that what you thought the, that the pictures would show? No, I have photos of my house before and then after the fire with okay. all the debris. So the fire, the house doesn't exist anymore is what it boils down I, to. I was on this road this morning. Um, I can verify that there's no dwelling at the residence if, if folks, you know, are interested in that, but. Okay. So um, now is our time that we are, so I invited people like Chris to ask questions and listers to question the applicant and applicants witnesses, but it's just you. Are there any questions for Jillian? Listers, do you have any questions? Yes. Actually, I know we visited the property after we had cleaned off the, uh, the mobile home. Yeah. And it looks like you still have a shed there. Right, right? Yeah. Yeah. And um, and I also, the question I, I guess I have is I heard that you didn't get a grievance notice in the mail regarding this. Got a what? A grievance notice because of the property value changing. Did you get a change of appraisal, a change of change of appraisal notice in the mail from the listers? I heard that that was going to come, but I haven't received you anything yet. Receive it, I made a copy, you would have it Can along I with see the copy because we appreciated the house 100%. So the house is no longer on the taxes for the year 24, 25, starting this year. Right. Um, but the land, the water, the, the shed, that is still there. Is that right? Can I give this to her? You can give it to her and I'll say, can you give me a copy and I'll make it an exhibit B? So for this next coming tax year, you're saying there's no house there and you valued right. it as so just the, the land property. and the water and the shed or whatever's on there. Okay. Yeah. Because yeah. I do and have a well. Unfortunately, the ended today at 5 o'clock. But this Friday and Saturday, um, Friday 4 to 7, Saturday 10 to 2, we'll be here doing grievances and you're welcome to come because it's past the deadline. Okay. And if there, you have questions or you don't agree with our findings. Okay. Grievances on on this on, on the change of appraisal on, on the change of appraisal, right? Because right now we are just talking about abating last year's the right. remaining of last year's taxes. Gotcha. And 
Okay. And the, the application says for both years, this application. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Right? It 20, does, but 20, I think 20, what, 20, they're, what the listeners are telling Jillian is that they've taken the house off the... They've right, and, 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 okay. and I get that. That thing she was asking for next year also, right? Right. So we're just telling her I'm going to get aware of that. Yeah. Um, do you have any other? Yes, Randy. Uh, I just have a question based on your uh, adjustment of value. Um, do you have an extra one of those here tonight? I, or can I just look at that? I was just going to compare, like the we have a sheet in front of us, yeah. and I was just wondering if uh, you know the seventy five. 700 is what was wiped out, um, you know, the home site, homestead values, but you still held the land values. Randy, you want to read that out loud? I'm, actually, I'm going to make copies for everybody. So. Oh, that'd be great. Yeah, so they have site improvements at the 16,000, which is what was on our sheet that you have in front of you. Um, you have the outbuilding at 2,300, which is on the sheet in front of us. Um, so I think the other, let's see, land value. So 16 stays the same and 2,300 stays the same? Yeah, and I'm, I'm still digging in on. The land value? Yeah. Shelly, can you come point me in the right direction here? I might have skipped over it, but 38.7 right here, land value. Okay, so land value. So the 38.7 is the same. So 38.7 is the same, the 16,000 and the 2,300. And if you also look, the functional depreciation that was So basically, they took out the So that's actually a little bit more. So really what they get started for now is water, soil, landscape. Yeah, so this, this, and this all hold true. Right. Everything else goes away. Correct. Yeah. Okay. okay. So, Shelley, does it become um, considered when it's now just land, it's not her homestead, right? So she doesn't benefit from the homestead tax right. break. From the prebate, right. Well, from the prebate. Yeah, she okay. wouldn't because it's not a dwelling. It's There's no a dwelling. dwelling. This happened in February before April 1st. So she would get it for last year, but she would not get it for this year. Everything everything is as of April 1st. So, okay. So what was on April 1st? April 1st it was burned down. So for like angry. next year, she wouldn't be able to get a prebate. But she lived there last year until it burned down. So on this, on this yeah, current so her, tax cycle, On she this would, tax cycle, she's not going to see... So right, right now, the next you're getting a little, you get a little um, state payment. It's not much. And so if you look but at you the land that just shows it's next year because of yeah. the, it, there being no home on it. Which is yeah. just a little bit higher. So is there a difference in the land value because it has septic and yeah. water and electricity yes. than if that's it's Yes, that's so all in the cost sheet. Okay. And yeah. that's why I said if there was, if she had an issue with that, which she thought it affected that, she could actually grieve it and, and come visit us and sit down. So I think what we're looking to do is, um, and Shelly, when she made that payment of arrears, did she make, does she still owe taxes for this year? So did she, did, did she make the 2020, pay, the 2024 payment or the 5 2024 payment? I can go, I can go. Do you know if you did, Jillian? I know that I'm all up to date. Yeah, she's all up to date. Yeah. So she's all up to date through 5 2024. Okay, yep. Um, I have a question is, was this your, prior to the fire on the second, were you living there full time? Yes. You were. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, and can someone um, please tell me, um, with these first, second, third, and fourth payments, the first payment is due 920, and that is... For what time period? July one, or well, is it? It's kind the entire of, tax bill, but we divide it into four payments for convenience. So we should just, if we want to abate the time that she um, was no longer able to live in it, right. February second, we would count the number of months and 
figure out what it costs per month in her taxes. Okay. So it's basically so basically one hundred and fifty four dollars thirty five cents a month. A month. So one fifty four thirty five per month. Okay. You guys are counting back to April, right? Yeah, and we're then, just. This is just. We're figuring breaking it down oh, into a monthly. Yeah. So really, we're talking. Um, so then February, February March, March, April. Three. Three months. February, March, March, and April. Two months. Two months. Because she lived there until February first, and the taxes are assessed April first. Okay. So February, February, and March. Right. February and yeah. March, right. right. So two months worth. Okay. Let's just make sure we're still sticking to our agenda, sticking to our meeting sequence. Okay. So um, so we've asked questions of the applicant. We've asked the listers to present his or her testimony and other evidence. We haven't done that, but this is your test. This is your evidence, right? Okay. Yep. Invite uh, Board of Authority. Board of Authority, Board of Abatement <laughs> members, an applicant to question the listers, which is what we're doing now. We're making questions to the listers. Um, so then we invite a brief closing statement from the applicant and the listers. Um, and so then I just want to read forward. Entertain a motion from the Board of um, Abatement to close the testimony, take action on the motion and then close the public abatement hearing and enter deliberative session, clearing the room except for the BOA members who will be deliberating. In the alternative schedule, a deliberative, oh, in the alternative schedule, a deliberative session for another time. Okay, so this is what's gonna happen. So um, we are going to have an, one more opportunity to just, you, you wanna make a statement, um, and then we're going to close um, for questions and, um, and close, take action on the motion. Enter a motion to close the testimony and then close. Okay. Then we're going to let you go. You're going to go home and we're going to deliberate and then we're going to give you an answer of what we decided. So you're not going to know tonight what we've decided. Um, and then um, we will expect to issue a written notice within 30 days of the close of deliberation. So we're not gonna do this at a different day. We'll just do this right now. And um, and then we'll have an answer and Sarah, well, is it the listers? Maybe we'll get a letter. Who will send a letter? I, you, send the, you sign the letter, I design the letter. We just fill out the report okay. decision. I just wanna make sure, is there a good address for you? Yes. Just, it seems like we're miss, you're, you're missing mail. I know. I <laughs> still do get my mail sent there because where I'm living now is okay. so far away. Is there, and it's hard to... Is there an email address? Yeah, back? you can email it to me. I have to buy lots. or certified mail it to you. So I just, is 53 Sunnybrook Road, will you get it? No, not if it's certified. Really? Because don't I have to sign for it? Yeah. Certified? Yeah. No, because I won't be there. Do you have a place of work? I do, but not with the mailbox. But well, you could send well, it to my parents' house. Okay, what if you want to just email each other and just give me okay. a good address? Okay, yeah. that that. thank you. Okay, so um, do you want to have a brief closing statement? I don't think so. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> do you Liz, have a brief Liz, yeah. can I just yes, say yes. something? Um, yes. I just want to say I'm so sorry for your loss. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Both of them. It's a rough one, but yeah, I'm still here. Yeah, <laughs> me and my dog. Yeah, thank God. Yeah. Um, do you have any closing statements, listers? Oh, dear listers. <laughs> Only that again for for the future payments. It's it's really not part of this. Yeah. Make sure that she comes in this week and after review and everything. If there is still questions on what next year is going to be. Okay, but are you saying that if she, for whatever reason, wanted to um, grieve, it's that too late? That we have that we had mail, but then not yeah. If she, for whatever reason, thinks that there's something that yeah. she doesn't agree with. Yeah. Because there was a the change, we have to send the grievance right. notice, and she didn't receive it, so that's why we're giving her that. We are giving her extra time. Okay, so do you understand that, that you can, if you feel like this new amount 54,000 which is the land 
the the improvements in the outhouse, the outbuilding. <laughs> <laughs> the outer house. Ms. May, just say something? Yes. Just to clarify it. So what you're asking is you're asking to abate the taxes for 2023. The taxes for 2024 haven't been billed yet. We don't know what the taxes are. But if you think that your property value is too high, go to these guys this weekend. Okay. Okay? Right. Argue it. Yeah. We just, we can't abate taxes. We don't have them. Right. Right. Okay. Yes. That is exactly why. Okay. okay, good. Yeah. <laughs> All righty. So um, if there's no other, um, we're going to close the testimony. And is there a motion to close the testimony? Okay. Dorinda. Oh, gosh. It's, it's a showdown. Chris moves and Dorinda seconds. All righty. Um, all those in favor of closing the testimony, say aye. 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 aye.